So in this series, I'll be going over the basics of stable diffusion. So if you're a beginner to stable diffusion, this is a good place to start. So to begin, perhaps the most important part of stable diffusion is the prompt box over here. This is where you put in the words for the images that you want to generate. So for example, I could type in the word bow and then click generate. So by clicking on the image, you can see what stable diffusion was able to generate. Now, just a little disclaimer, the images you produce at the start of your stable diffusion journey won't be very good, but throughout the series, we'll cover some more advanced techniques to drastically improve your images. Just for now though, accept that the images you produce won't be very good compared to what you see online. So now with that out of the way, we can go back to our prompt box and what we can do is actually specify certain art styles. So now let's say I want a watercolor painting of a bow. All I need to do is type in the following and then click generate. And now by clicking on the image again, you can see that stable diffusion has tried to generate it. And if I'm not happy with the generation, I could just click generate again and get a different image. Now, another cool thing we could do with the prompt box is specify artists names to get images in their style. So as long as the artist is somewhat famous, so for example, I can put in by Thomas Cole, a famous landscape artist, and then click generate. And you can see that Stable Diffusion has been able to generate the image in his style. Now carrying on, we have something called the negative prompt box over here. And so if the prompt box is everything we want in our image, the negative prompt box is everything we do not want in our image. So let's say when I keep generating this image of a watercolor painting of a bowl, I keep getting mountains within my image. I don't want this. So all I need to do is specify the word mountains within my image and then click generate. And now Stable Diffusion has produced a painting without no mountains in it. And I can take this a step further. Let's say that I don't want any clouds in my image. I can now type that into the negative prompt box and then click generate. And now Stable Diffusion has produced an image where there's no mountains and no clouds within the image. Now, the last thing I want to show you is prompt waiting. Now to do this, I'm going to change the prompt. So I'm going to do a castle this time and take out the negative prompt box and then generate the image. So stable diffusion generated an image of a castle like we expected. But what I want to bring to your attention is that so far, every single word that we put into stable diffusion, so a castle by Thomas Cole is given equal weighting to stable diffusion meaning that no specific word has priority over the other. So just to clarify what I meant here, although no words have priority in terms of weighting, the actual words that you put at the start of a prompt usually have a much more stronger effect on the final image than the words later in the prompt. However, looking at it purely in the terms of weighting, all of the words have the same weight, despite the fact that the words at the start of the prompt have a stronger effect. So for example, if I now put in on fire and then click generate, now, Stable Diffusion generated the image, but it didn't give any sort of special preference to any of the words. Now, what we could do is highlight one of the words and then click on control and then the upper key on your keyboard. And then you should be able to change the prompt weighting. Now, what I've done here is set the on fire word to 1.3, meaning that Stable Diffusion will now give it a higher preference when generating the image. And now if I go click generate, now stable diffusion has generated the image, but what you should be able to see is that the fire is now more prominent in the image than it was before. Now I could do this again. I could take it up even higher so I can change this 1.3 to a 1.7 and then generate the image. And now the image has been generated, but if you look closely enough, you can tell that the actual whole castle is on fire this time, whereas before it wasn't completely on fire. And so that's what prompt waiting does. Now there's two things to note with prompt waiting. One is all your words have a default weighting of one. And if you want to change your weighting of a certain word, I recommend that you don't change it anywhere above two, because after that, if you change it to a really high number, then weird stuff can start happening within your images. So if I take this to a really high number, like five and then click generate. You can see that the image generated bears no resemblance to a castle on fire. So if you are using prompt weighting, always try to keep it between the one to two range. 